Welcome. Happy full moon in Pisces. It's a very deep, deep moon. It's the harvest moon. It's the last full moon of summer. So many aspects going on in the cosmos. So what are you noticing? Do you feel the emotions coming in? There's a lot of water connected with Pisces. So if you are a Pisces or Scorpio or Cancer, have a lot of that in your chart, you may be feeling it a little bit more, or you may be feeling very creative. I've noticed that's kind of what it is for me, feeling very creative, have so many ideas, it's hard to get them all done, but maybe you're feeling more of the emotional energy, the weight of it. So a good thing to do is exactly what we're going to do tonight is just meditate, go deep into yourself and ask some of those questions. All right, we're coming to the end of the season. It's like, what has been going on for you? What are you looking at? What are you talking about with your own self? And it really is that intuitive time to feel that connectedness of your spirit, the greater spirit, and how you feel with where you are right now. So as a water sign, you know, those emotions can come up. You can feel that sensitivity coming in. And you can really start to wonder like, what's going on? You can feel a little bit vulnerable. You can feel all that empathic energy coming forward for you. And then when we put it with the sun sign, right? We always have that, the moon reflects from the sun, right? So we also have the Virgo and Virgo is earth. So Virgo is really asking you like, what is your worth? Do you know your worth? Do you know your truth? Do you know what your own divinity is? So you could be feeling all of that energy stirring up. Like I know for myself, I've been shifting my path. I've been looking at new ideas, dreaming up new possibilities. And so for me, it's just kind of like, okay, just keep going deeper and deeper. I don't have the answers and you may not either. And you know what? That is okay. But when we have these aspects coming in, the moon phases, the aspects of Mercury, Mercury going retrograde, Mars, Mars is in Gemini, all these planets moving on and they're all moving kind of slow, especially compared to the moon. It is going to be a time of reflection. It's going to be a time for you to notice where you are as well as like where are you in sync with other people or where are you out of sync with other people? And it's almost like, what's that wavelength? What's that frequency of energy that you need to adjust for your own self? Now, I am finding Mercury retrograde, we just started. Of course, I've had a few technical things. Emails go out the wrong time and mess ups, that kind of stuff. But overall, the reflection that Mercury retrograde gives us right now, reflecting back on these last couple of years, where are you with that? What has shifted? So it is a time to really slow down, to ruminate on what's going on with your friends, your, your relationships, all right, that it's in Libra. So it may actually bring up some of the relationship stuff going on. Are you really communicating? Are you riding the surface? Do you want to go deeper in that communication? And what will it take to find the harmony in doing that, to really speak up for yourself, to know your own truth? And I always feel like kind of knowing your own truth and loving yourself is really the place to begin. We can never change anybody, but we can come into ourselves and ask ourselves the questions. And guess what? We get to make some answers for ourselves. We get to talk about what it is we want in our lives and really stand in that truth. Doesn't always agree with the partner, doesn't always agree with a friend or a colleague, but I think when you know your truth, I've been having this conversation with several people, when you know your truth, know your boundaries, it gives you more power in who you are. It's not always the easiest, and I know for many of us, me included as an empath, you know, we kind of go along and go along, go along and kind of meld in with other people and meld in with other people. And then all of a sudden we're going like, wait a minute, what happened to me? So you may be feeling this energy coming up for you in that kind of respect. You may be feeling like, oh gosh, what about me? Where am I right now? And actually, I think those are really, really good questions to ask. So when we sit in time of quiet, when we go into our meditations, we open up this part of ourselves that can be in our truth, that can be more creative with what we have going on. And you can get flashes of insight, flashes to help your path and what it is you're doing. I was going to do a fire circle tonight, but honestly, I have too much fire in me from the beach. So I don't feel like I need to be around that fire. And really the place to be would be around a body of water. 
right? So making sure that you do have some water on your altar. I have a little glass. I know it's hard to see. It's in pretty colors. But making sure on your altar tonight that you do have all of the altars, all of the elements represented, but especially some water. And maybe even taking a bath tonight will be a really good thing. Bring your crystals around. Rose quartz. I just love rose quartz. I always do. There's so many crystals you could choose right now. And I really say, no matter what everybody else says, I really say find the crystals that resonate with you right now. I'll share one of the ones that I've been using, one of the crystal grids that I really love. I'll share it here. You can see that, right? It's just so beautiful. It's got my rose quartz and it's got quartz and it's got mangano calcite and it's got some garnet in there and i just love this magnification you know i was looking around going what else can i bring in but this is the one that's really been sitting on my desk my altar my work helping me to really open up my heart to heal those parts within me and to really tune in to the deeper part of where i am right now so that i can be better for my own self as well as helping others to do the same I was in a class the other night with Tina Conroy. It was about mediumship. And she asked the question, like, why do you do this work? Without saying, I want to help others. And it is something that I have been thinking about over and over. Why do you do this work? Why do you do meditation? Why do you do Reiki? Why do you do crystal work? And so the thing that keeps coming back for me, and it was kind of interesting because Catherine, my teacher, dropped in right that night. She's passed. And it was a remembrance for me that part of what I do is to help raise the consciousness for myself and for those around us. When we do this work, when we use the moon and when we align with the cosmos, we can raise the consciousness. We can lift us up out of that waking state that we all tend to walk around, all that fight or flight, hurry, 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 go, go, go slow down go deeper find deeper meaning and i think that's partly what spirituality is all about spirituality pulls us in and the cosmos can help us know where we are right now it really can it can help us to understand who we are what we're doing and where we're going on in the world at large so i find that really opening up to that deeper part understanding where you are right now and what it is you're doing and why you do this work, right? Some people say, oh, it's kind of magical. I wanna just get out of all the other stuff, but that's not really what always happens. Sometimes when we do spiritual work and we align with the moon and we really feel those energies, like, why did I do this? Crying your head off. But growth always comes out of challenge. Growth always comes out of looking at the deeper part of who we are. So I think tonight as we really work with this energy the main thing is just to be quiet. And the main thing is just to go into yourself and ask yourself some of those questions that you've been asking or been wondering or been questioning and just listen to the answers. Listen to what is coming forward for you. This period really is like two and a half days. It came in about 5 a.m. this morning, gives you that opportunity. So we're working with the elements of, of Pisces water, Virgo earth, where can you find that balance? All right. And I know for me, I have super been feeling the elements, especially all that fire. And so for me, it's like finding the balance. I need to rebalance. I need to really ground my energy and understand more about my path. Look deeper, ask questions, bring your guides in and ask them questions. It's not like they're going to always just like whoosh, download the information, tell you everything you need you ask questions you create that relationships and even if you don't feel like like it's your spirit guide like that's not supposedly what a spirit guide looks like don't hold judgment just open up to that greater part and keep asking and feel notice hear sense what does that feel like and i truly believe when we're in that vibration of energy working in the higher planes working in those higher dimensions and aligning with the stars our star people are energy that comes forward you feel a shift you feel a difference and that's the energy we really want to expand all right so gather your sage or your incense or your palo santo i think i have like everything in this bowl notice the elements on your altar 
All right, I've got some of the earth. I've got this cute little rose and I've got some rosemary and I've got these. Actually, I thought they were bergamot and they're not. They're just a weed, but they have little flowers on them. I've got my favorite crystals around. I've got a nice bundle of sage. I've got a little cat, a carnelian cat someone gave me. Gina, Gina gave me. Thank you, Gina. And I've got the fire and the crystals going. So notice your altars. The sacred elements are so important in helping us to really ground and come into the center of who we are. So we're gonna start with the meditation and then I'm gonna pull some cards, all right? I've got a couple of questions. I'm gonna pull the first card for, let's see here. What energy will help you to release any barriers, preventing the flow in your life? The next card will be what energy will help you to be the observer? And what energy will help you to align with your highest intuition? So we're going to work with that as we move through the meditations. But to begin, let's tune in. All right. So wherever you are, if you can, just take a nice deep inhale. Finding your fire. Lighting some sage or whatever you have around you. See the fire, the air, smell the smoke, the incense. Allow yourself to connect with all of these beautiful elements. Ground with your feet and just feel that flow. The moon will be up soon, looking out the window. Feel that flow of energy coming right in for you, the element of water. And then as you're ready, go ahead and close the eyes, taking a nice deep inhale up the body and exhale all the way back down deep into the earth, feeling all the elements around you. Inhale, expanding through the belly and the side ribs, opening the chest. And as you exhale, pull the belly in, pull the navel in, release the breath all the way down deep into the earth. Inhale, expanding that breath as you call in your energy, call in your spirit. And as you exhale, feel that energy coming in all around you, your spirit. Inhale, expanding the breath again as you open your heart. Exhale, dropping right into the very center of your heart. Feel that connection that you have with your spirit and the greater spirit. And just holding this vibration deep as part of your heart into the God spot. Know that you are known, know that you are loved. As we allow all this energy to come in around us. As we call in the masters, the teachers, the archangels, calling in your own spirit guides, calling in the crystal beings. We also tonight call in the energy of the moon, the sun, the stars, all the planets. And just imagine, pretend to visualize like all this energy starting to align above your crown, bringing in this beautiful, absolute light, streams of grace, all of these vibrations. Start to feel them coming in all around you. So begin sending energy as well out to you now or later when you're watching. And as you're there closing your eyes, just feel this magnified energy around you right now. And just lifting the breath from the earth all the way up through the spine, through the crown, into the higher dimensions. And as you exhale, breathe it all the way back down, opening up that radiant channel all the way down deep into the earth. Inhale all the way up from the earth. Feel it coming through the legs and the first chakra, all the way up the spine into the higher realms. And as you exhale, breathing it down through the higher chakras, entering into the crown, into the body, all the way down the spine. Some will move out the arms. The rest will move down through the first chakra, the legs and the feet deep into the earth. We start to mix all of this energy, running 100% of energy up through the chakras, up through this channel of light into the higher realms, exhaling all the way back down deep into the earth. 
one more time, opening up that channel of light for you, feeling that light of the moon shining down upon you, radiating this beautiful silver light. And then from your heart, as you take that next inhale, opening it out all around you, exhale, pulling all the energy back in, just opening up your auric field from the heart, let it all open out and then let the chakras open. And then exhale, breathing it back in. Feel your breath, feel your field of energy expanding with this light of the moon, reflections from the sun, all of this energy coming in for you. Just allow your energy to open. And going deep within, returning to that place within your heart, that creation for you. Feeling into this energy, knowing, feeling the awareness of your own spirit. And just asking your own questions right now. What do I need to do to shift, to go deeper, to create this better relationship with my own divinity right now? Listen, notice, as you feel this light, imagining it shining all through your auric field, it can be very simple, slow down, be present, create this practice, feel the confidence that comes from your own heart. It may not align with everybody else's. Let it align with you. The truer you are in your own heart and radiate that truth out, it will radiate out with others. You'll shift, you'll attract. Feel that. Calling in all those crystal beings, Feeling the rose quartz for that self-love of the heart for yourself. Feeling the Montgano calcite to add a little bit more depth to who you are right now. The quartz crystals magnifying this for you. And call in whatever else you need right now. And as we pull all this beautiful energy in from your heart, what is your intention? We're at the greatest height of the moon. We'll release next week, but right now, what is that highest intention for you? Perhaps it's something you said at the new moon. Perhaps it's brand new. See it, feel it. Hear it, know it. And as you put that out, allow the elevated emotions to just radiate out from your heart for these intentions. Fullness, as high as you can go with it. Send it out. Call it back in. And we amplify this energy with the shokure, shokure, shokure. Feel the lifting of your spirit, the lifting from your heart. Breathe. Exhale. Trust that guidance for you right now. Feel, know, see, hear. Breathe. So 
So as I look to the cards for that first question of what energy will help me release any barriers, will help you release any barriers preventing the flow of your life. The two of water. This is like the lover's card and lots of times it comes up in relationships, but what I want to really direct the energy for this is just like noticing like your spirit, the greater spirit, that love that you have for the own truth of your divinity. Where can you really open up and receive the love and the truth of who you are that will break through all barriers? When you know your heart, when it resonates out from that God spot, that is your power. That is your confidence. When we're searching out there, instead of in here, we lose power. The sun, the moon, the hearts, it's all centered around that connection right in the deepest part of your heart. Then it resonates out. Some of that Libra energy, the connection with people, some of that coming forward, the truer you are with yourself, the easier it will be to express who you are. Take a deep breath, see if that resonates for you. The next question is what card, what energy will help me or help you to be the observer of your life? And the star card. This is about that confidence of your own faith. As you have the confidence to realign with your energy, you can observe what's going on for you and your path. Trust your path. Not what everybody else tells you, not what you think you should do. Remove the shoulds. Where is your faith in who you are? The butterfly sits on her chest and her heart. Transformation for everybody. Everybody is moving through transformation. Where can you observe, find the faith to give you that knowledge? It's like when we work with the spirit guides, it's like observe. Don't judge, just observe. Bring in that power. Poised, ready for your own path right now. I think the greatest gift we can give right now to the world is like to heal thyself. When we heal thyself, we're so much better to be in the world. But if we're pointing the fingers, oh no, they need, they need, they need. We're pointing fingers. So find that divinity, be the observer through your own faith and confidence. And then the last card, what energy will help you to align with your highest intuition? So this is kind of interesting. And I think the way that I'm reading this, the father of air is finding the balance. All right. Sometimes when we block our intuition, we're in that logical part. We're in that analytical part. So it's not like we don't need that, but where can you balance the analytical, the logical with your intuition? Sometimes we have to set it aside, go take a little break. I need to go deeper within, stop the churning of the mind. But where can you bring that balance? And again, some of that Libra energy that we're moving through, the Mercury retrograde and coming into Libra. Where can you balance the elements of your own life? Get out of your own way, go deeper into your intuition and balance both of those out. This is also too about like, like taking some of that practical information, making it simpler than you think it needs to be, and really using the signs and symbols that come in. I kind of wanted to look into the book for the father of air. People influences sometimes can have many meanings. So I kind of wanted to see just kind of subjective to what I wrote before. So yeah, so this is like be in that place of authority and respect. Sit firm in your truth and express yourself with deep conviction. When you sit in that place, your intuition can guide you. That gut instinct will come forward. Have that clarity. 
have that clarity for your own intuition, for your own gut responses. Definitely some things to think about. So let's just take another moment, sitting in the energy, and just ask for whatever messages to come in, to come in, as you hold the intention from that deepest part of your heart. Inhale. And exhale. Feel the fullness of the light as the moon begins to rise. Sending lots of energy out. Receive. And now just gather all that energy in, calling back, pulling your aura in, calling back. Feel your energy coming in a little closer to you. And now I just offer tonight as you finish, as do we finish? Write down, take a bath, take a shower, do something with water, put your crystals around you. You can put your crystals outside. Many people love to do that. And allow this charge of energy to empower you as you move through this last part of the cycle, this last part of the summer season, to live in the fullest expression of who you are, the truth of your heart. Know thy spirit to be true. Have that confidence, build that confidence. And I just close with a quote, beautiful from Spirit Daughter. You're always connected to the ocean's strength, the sun's brilliance, the moon's magic, and pure love. Inhaling. And exhaling, bringing all the energy down, all the way through the legs and the feet. Feel yourself connecting, grounding in your truth. A moment of gratitude for your spirit. Gratitude for the greater spirit. Gratitude for the cosmos and the cycle of life and the beautiful moon. Shining above us tonight. Inhaling and exhaling just as you're ready bringing the awareness back coming back write out your intentions take a bath get around water bring your crystals out and have some quiet time for yourself tonight to your spirit namaste